Fred just said Joe Strummer, which we all thought was a big shout. Um, we're just, I don't know, we're going to park that for a second. Yeah. What about Prince? Oh, yeah. Prince is a good look, but 25 years, that's 86, so. I know you didn't write any good songs after about 1993. But Raspberry Beret is 85. Yeah, yeah. Kiss is 86. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you're pushing it at that point. New Power Generation doesn't register in my. But, my greats. <laughs> what about Nick Cave? Yeah, Nick Cave's great. Nick Cave really, that really that loving. was really getting into his stride about 86 because that's the good yeah. son, and that's just when he's starting to write real songs like you know mm. that's shit a good look. songs a good stuff show. like that and he's only got better in 25 years but on the other hand everybody decided they liked him about two years ago yeah so <laughs> i don't want to join and jump on that bandwagon <laughs> as somebody who was at nick cave millions of nick cave concerts in the 90s yeah on the dig lazarus dig tour yeah yeah I, God, I know. <laughs> and um so yeah nick cave show strummer Joe Ely, I'd say too. Joe Ely's pretty cool. Prince. Yeah, Prince yeah, yeah. Right? Prince is the legend, man. He's the best. I love the him. Cure. He's amazing. But, uh, yeah, this is out the early Super stuff. Robert Smith. But Disintegration's 87, man. Yeah, man. Do you know what? I think. I mean, it might not be everybody's cup of tea or whatever, but Lady Gaga, at least she kind of does what she likes, I guess. Yeah, uh, but. Uh, yeah, well, it's kind of song. It's like. Well, exactly, yeah. I don't know what you mean. Well, influential to who, you see, you know? Yeah, Because true. people are not what they used to be. And, uh, uh, Justin Bieber's going to drop a lot of acid and go into a serious heroin phase, and the whole world's going to... Oh, just, sorry. Just, no. just get sucked up into the thumb. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Yeah. That's the way I want to go. Yeah, in fact, uh, he's going to straddle the whole world and just, just suck us all in there, mm. and then shit us out again in a sort of post-Bieber apocalypse. It's very <laughs> there is no post-Bieber for me, I'm done. <laughs> if it's post-Bieber, I'm out. Which is going to be, you know, huge, huge, because um, he's already on the gear, isn't he? And he's just going to get worse and worse. <laughs> Reverting not... back to the previous question quickly, I think Jay-Z might factor highly in the yeah, most yeah. influential yeah, 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 of the yeah. past 25 years. Technically, yes. Like, 86 to 2011, I'd say he was pretty high up on my list. Yeah, very influential Rick as well, probably. Actually, not, not as a producer, Rick Rubin's huge. Massive, about massive. It. Oh my God, from saying, Cash to Slayer to, you know, whatever it yeah. is. Yeah, I was saying from 86 to I'm just thinking of those numbers, That's yeah. quite, that was really his pomp, wasn't it? Yeah. But the next 25 years, that's a brutal question. Yeah. Um, uh, it's going to be Mr. Lazy You just never, it? yeah, well, you never know who's know, alive like, as well, you know. Like you, you could even throw Daft Punk in the old twenty five in the last twenty five years as well, maybe. I don't know. I'm going. I'm but, going. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. No, I'm no, going. No, I'm going for go. Justin Bieber getting abducted by uh, werewolves, right? And getting hooked on Super Smack, Super Werewolf Smack. <laughs> super Smack. Oh, no, no, you don't need to. No. Earmuffs. Earmuffs. Getting hooked on Super <laughs> Werewolf Smack and, and, and turning into. What? And turning into a werewolf and rewriting the world. That's what there you go. That's, that's, that's succinct in answers I think we can provide. 